And may we pause just briefly, ladies and gentlemen, to remind you that the Duke is on the air. early days in the 20s. The first time I saw Duke play was at the Kentucky Club on Broadway in 49th. He was experimenting all the time, learning how to make the most of the instruments and of each musician. was when we moved up to the Cotton Club that things really started to take off for us. Doing the right thing for the right people at the right time, Duke used to say. Telephone numbers, well, you know I'm doing my rumbers with love and that in my satin dark. I organised a tour to Europe in 33. Duke took a lot of persuading to go, but the reception in England was worth it all. He saw for the first time how well people outside of America knew his music and how much they were devoted to him. treated his band well, he paid them well, and he cut a lot of slack on the discipline. Seemed to work out though, most of his musicians repaid him with loyalty and affection you don't often see. needed a Mills figure and Mills had profited on the back of Duke. They both knew the score and were comfortable with it. But by now, Duke was so well launched he didn't need Mills anymore and so he broke from him. Ellington was a diplomat. If the door is closed, you get nobody's ear. If you get your foot in the door, somebody might hear you. He knew he was getting in with his music and everybody was hearing him. Fifty. 
and the glory days of the swing era were hastening to a close. Isn't it about time that the Ellington Orchestra was disbanded before what was left of a great reputation is completely dragged into the mud? In the beginning In the beginning in the beginning, God. No mountains, no valleys, no main street, no back alleys. No night, no day, no bills to pay. No phones, no drones, no social media stuff you don't need. Your Twitter, your Twitter, your Adonine, Ninana. It was all over the papers the next day. The journalists declaring the Ellington Orchestra once again the hottest thing in the business. In 1965, Duke received an invitation from the Dean of Grace Cathedral, San Francisco, to play a concert of sacred music. This music is the most important thing I've ever done or am likely to do, he told me. never seems tired, marvelled new band member Fred Stone, who, unlike Ellington, had to take a rest when the band began a residency at New York's City Rainbow Grill the day after returning from playing 12 countries in 35 days, sometimes playing two shows a night. The band will be dropping from exhaustion and he wants to play encores. <laughs> I have so much more to do, he told me. So much more I have to do. He was sinking fast. He had already outlasted virtually all those who'd started with him or joined him along the way. <clears throat> he had quite a band waiting up there for him. Up from dawn till sunset, man work hard all the day. came and stood in line to pay their respects to Duke. Friends, colleagues and admirers came from all over the world. To me, he was a messiah, Williams added. 
and everybody whose life was touched by his that even came close to him were better people for it, having known Duke Ellington. I thank God he happened in my lifetime. Thank you.